ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. We gotta talk about Wendy Williams here because I've been on now for like an hour and a half. We gotta talk about Wendy Williams. Poor Wendy's definitely going through it. It was announced today that she has dementia. And um, we know her documentary is coming out, but she she's going through it really, really bad. I'm trying to find the video. Hold up here. I feel so bad for her. It's a lot going on. Okay, looks like Fox News Chicago is reporting on it. So we're going to watch this really quick. Give me just a second. Um, hold up. That's the wrong one. This is the one. It's surprising. All right. Let me share this. Announcement today by former talk show host Wendy Williams' medical team. They say she has been diagnosed with a form of dementia, a progressive disorder that has already presented significant hurdles in her life. Joining us now to discuss and explain further is Dr. Gajuri. She is an assistant professor in geriatrics and palliative care at Rush. Thanks for joining us for this important conversation. A lot of questions out there about this. Hi, thank you for having me. So Wendy Williams is only 59, uh, not an age most of us would think of someone with dementia. Uh, tell us what her condition is called and explain exactly what it is. Absolutely. So uh, this is primary progressive aphasia, which is a subvariant of something called frontotemporal dementia, which actually does affect younger people, um, usually under age 65. And um, the frontotemporal dementia has a couple of different variants. Um, primary progressive aphasia is, uh, comprises about two out of three of those. Um, basically, it's an early loss of language and speech. Um, it can be language in different forms, whether it's um, speaking, understanding, a word uh, finding, sentence structure, um, word comprehension. Um, and it happens pretty early in life. Uh, as you mentioned, you know, other types of dementia happen later. Um, this is one that happens uh, much earlier and can be uh, pretty progressive pretty quickly. Uh, and so it can be absolutely devastating to families and to uh, patients themselves. So I understand this is the same condition that another well-known celebrity, Bruce Willis, has. Um, so you've kind of answered the question, part of the question I have for you, which is how quickly does this condition deteriorate? But I also want to know, do we know what causes this? We really don't. Um, sometimes it's people who have had neurocognitive issues in the past. Sometimes it's people who have had um, learning disabilities in the past as well. Uh, there can be genetic variants that um, predispose folks to uh, this kind of dementia. And other times we just don't know. Um, and unfortunately, you know, after language uh, loss, people start to have other losses as well including other forms of cognitive impairment, visual spatial impairment, um, slowly losing things like mobility and the ability to um, do daily activities. Initially, it's daily activities that are reliant on um, uh, language, you know, like uh, communicating on the phone, sending an email, understanding street signs, things like that. Uh, over time, that can progress to worse um, impairments in, in mobility, daily activities, uh, personal care, and things like that. It's well known that Wendy also has uh, Graves' disease. Uh, she was saying One thing I've noticed is that a lot of people are saying like, oh, this is Wendy's karma because Wendy was always, you know, talking about other people, talking about people's marriages, things like that. But I also feel like that's kind of weird to say that that's her karma all the while typing this in the shade room. Like, y'all are in the shade room, which is a gossiping Instagram website. Y'all are on different, you know, platforms which spill tea and celebrity gossip. So at that point, are you guys not as guilty? That, you know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's what I didn't understand when I kept pe seeing people say, well, this is her karma. So 
what is the shade room's karma going to be? What is Hollywood on like? Like, I don't think that has anything to do with her karma. Honestly, from what I see, because from what I heard, you're not, she's too young, I think, to have dementia. And so from what I was also seeing, people are saying this could be related to her alcohol usage. Because even in her documentary, she was saying that she was drinking a lot. And so when you, you know, anything you abuse, I don't care if it's alcohol, if it's drugs, that can take a toll on your brain. So people are saying that it might be from the alcohol use and that might be what's causing this as well. Plus, it's also scary to know that she has a lot of people around her that are not necessarily good people. Because her niece was also, her niece also recently did an interview with um I think the view I had watched it earlier today and she was talking about it um it looks like hold on she did another interview with ET we're gonna watch this real quick because her niece is speaking on what's going on with Wendy Williams as well so let, let me play this real quick here it's just like it's so sorry <laughs> Please stay here. We'll get her out of here, okay? Yes. Yes. One second. Yeah, look right back, Wendy. Okay. Hi. No. I don't. I don't. I don't know you. I'm good. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, man. Came out of nowhere and she hates she calls my other than me. Nice try. I don't need your fake using behind in the middle of my relationship. Why not? Hi. So let me ask you is how, like, because I know you're really good friends with Sean now, whatnot. I'm just trying to understand, like, what, you pay her and she's your friend? I pay her. Okay. And all of a sudden, she's more than PR. That's interesting. She understands finance. Okay. Yeah. Because I'll be honest with you. It's no secret that there have been random people around you getting money, getting paid, whatever the case may be. Stealing money from me. I'm just trying to figure out your friends that you're saying is your friend that you're also paying. It's giving a little desperate energy. You are an A-list celebrity. You are bigger than this. You are better than this. You are smarter than this. You are stronger than this. The Aunt Wendy that I know that has instilled in me how to navigate this crazy business that we're in, this isn't it. People around you getting paid, they're going to tell you stuff. Okay, I thought they had interviewed her, but I guess not. Um, that's just a clip from the upcoming documentary. And from what she was saying on The Real, no, on The View, excuse me, she was saying that Wendy has like a three-part contract with Lifetime to like shoot like a three-part series. And we've seen the one that she did, I think like two, three years ago, where she was talking about how she got into, you know, having her talk show, her, you know, basically her life story. So this is like the second or third series for Lifetime. But my thing is, she doesn't look well. She does not look well at all. So it's just like, like, why are they shooting this? Like, I get, you know, the audience, you know, we want to know that she's okay and she's fine. But it just seems kind of very, very exploitative, in my personal opinion. And it seems to be a lot of people around her that should not be around her. And it's to me, it's also sad that everything hard that she worked hard for, she basically lost it. She lost a lot of it. You know, due to her husband and his infidelities, I think that kind of pushed over the edge, which brought on a lot of the drinking and the issues that she's now facing. But um, I don't know. I feel bad for her. I do. You know, I'm a fan of Wendy Williams. We all got what we do. Everybody here on YouTube doing commentary and tea and giving our opinions. She's the blueprint. And nobody can ever take that from her. She's literally the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? So... And she's the one who like kind of kept it real. She wasn't trying to be friends with celebrities. She's the one who's going to ask the questions that we all want to know. 
you know, she was not going to be given like the cookie cutter interviews. She's going to give her opinion and she doesn't care if that makes her friends or makes her enemies. That's what, you know, people tuned in for. That's what people like. So I don't understand like now it's all this karma talk. And it's like, well, was it karma when you tuned in every, you know, she was on air for like 10 years, Monday through Friday. Because if that's her karma, then what's your karma for watching the shit? Just keeping it real. So I just found that very interesting that there were some people on the on the shade room who kept saying, oh, this is her karma. Meanwhile, you're on the shade room. You're not on a gospel website. You're not on a Christian, you know, influencer page. You're on the shade room. Make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. I just wish her the best, though. I, I really do. Um, she's very much missed. I remember they said she was going to start a podcast and somehow that kind of went by the wayside, but I just, I hope she gets better. And, um, you know, I just, this is really sad. This is really sad. Cause you can just tell it's a lot going on with her, um, health wise. And it's sad to see anybody, especially somebody we've watched for years. Like she's been around, hell, she's been really part of our childhoods. I remember her and Whitney Houston getting into it. I had every single Wendy book that she ever dropped, the Wendy Williams experience books. I still have those books and I got those back. I mean, hell, even before, my youngest was born, you know, like Wendy was always like just keeping it real. So it's really hard to see her like this. It really is. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.